Hi, I'm Ishan, reporting for Kids First, and today I'm very excited to speak with Fernando Rodriguez and Daniela Vidare. Mr. Rodriguez directed and Ms. Vidare starred in the acclaimed drama Por Mi Hija, a new release about a young Mexican family who must adapt to life in the U.S. Thank you so much for speaking with me today. Hi, Sean. How are you doing? Doing well. What about you? I'm great. Glad to be here. Hi, thank you for having me. Of course. Alrighty. So if it's good with you, we can just jump in. Yeah, ready. All right, let's get started with Fernando. So why do you think that Por Mi Hija is a story that needs to be told? Por Mi Hija is a very raw and real representation of the immigration situation right now in the United States, especially between Mexico and the United States, because they they border each other in land. So it's real, uh, real easy for people to come over, you know, illegally. And, you know, just the last few years, everything that's been happening politically and now with Ukraine, it sort of puts a spotlight on on refugees and on immigration and, and all that. So I just wanted to be specific and, and, and uh, show the story of this young couple who, who are from a small town in Mexico and they, they decide to to make this sacrifice and come to the U.S. and, and try and, and find a, a better life for themselves. And once they're here, you know, they they realize that it's not the way it thought it was going to be, and, and it's very difficult. And and they're here without their family, they're here without their friends, uh, without anybody, and no help. And um, and they're just trying to make the best of it. And you see that in the film, and and it can be very very difficult at times. And Daniela, what drew you to act in this film? Um, the moment I read the script. I, I emailed Fernando immediately and I said, I need to audition for this. Uh, it's an incredible story. I just, the way he wrote it, I could just see the whole film in my head. And, and I just loved the pace, um, how it would jump, you know, a little bit back and forth. And it just drew me to it. And I come from a Mexican family as well. So I really, wanted to be a part of this to tell that story you know that Fernando says that it's very important to tell and I completely agree so yeah I loved everything the characters the story everything the writing really is very powerful um and Fernando you wrote and also directed the film uh, correct this is this is what I would call very independent filmmaking almost guerrilla style because I, I had a uh, it was just me and, and a group of friends um, that really just decided to take on this this adventure and and I wrote the script and and you know it was during the pandemic so I said you know let's go for it and uh, and yeah I did I we we all did uh, a number of jobs uh, in terms of you know cinematography lighting all that stuff we 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 had to sort of do it on our own. We didn't have a lot of budget. We didn't have a lot of help. So uh, yeah, we took on a lot of roles. What was uh, what posed a bigger challenge to you? Was it writing or was it directing? It was definitely directing. Directing was, uh, was very challenging uh, for a couple of reasons, but one of the main reasons was COVID. You know, we shot this movie during the middle of COVID. So there were a lot of barriers. Um, we shot in two different countries. Uh, we shot here in San Diego, in California first, and then we had to uh, make our way down to Mexico, to a very small town in Mexico. So we had to, you know, travel and get the whole crew down there and equipment and, you know, hiring actors down there and, and you know, going around the uh, different logistical uh, situations down there in permits and all that stuff. Thank God that uh, everything turned out okay. Uh, the town was very, very helpful and open to us in terms of filming. They were happy to see us there. So the, the directing was definitely a challenge, but it, you know, in the end, I think it was, you know, it was, it was rewarding. It came out great. I, I, I think. He was I great. <laughs> Go ahead, please. No, I was just going to say he was great. He killed it as a director. He really did. I think the logistics were difficult, but when it came down to it, um, he was awesome. He had a very, good and clear vision about what he wanted, but he also gave us a lot of freedom 
uh, as actors and that, and you know, that's greatly appreciated. It's a lot of fun because you can just really relax and be creative and play pretend, which is really what making films is. It's really cool. Definitely. And I love that. Just tell me a little bit more about the sort of onset experience. Um, I know you also worked with some, uh, with a child actor uh, who played Luciana. Okay. Yeah. Was, you tell me a little bit more about some memorable moments on set. I think what comes to mind was between, I mean, working with Luciana, she's incredible. She's such a sweet, sweet girl and she's so talented. So, you know, working with her was a joy, but in between takes, you know, that little bit of downtime, I mean, we would just talk. She was always down to have conversations. We would talk, we would play. Uh, it was, it was a blast. It was, it was so fun. It was my first time actually working with a, with a child actor. So it was a really neat experience. Great first experience. That's wonderful. And Fernando, how did you ensure that you were authentically depicting the journey of a Mexican immigrant family uh, in this film? Um, I'm Mexican American, so that's that's uh, that sort of gives me a little bit of credential in that situation. <laughs> I definitely have a lot of uh, friends and family that have been through situations like that. Uh, living in San Diego, I got a firsthand look at, at stuff like that. You know, I was I was a little kid. I remember, uh, you know, I live ten miles from the border. And I was a little kid walking uh, to school, junior high, I remember, and I'd see people hiding behind uh, trees or hiding behind, you know, trash cans or, or you could just tell that they were scared and, and, and didn't know where they were. And I, I knew immediately that they were from Mexico and they were here illegally. So that really, really uh, resonated with me. It stuck with me and um, it impacted me a lot. So I, I wanted to tell a story like that to bring a voice to those people. Because, you know, they're people like me, they're, they're, they look like me, they speak like me, and, and I have the right to be here, and they don't. And that's just sort of something that I always grapple with. I, 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 you know, it's, it's a tough situation. And definitely the film does a lot to, you know, discuss that issue more. Um, and it's, it's a very, I like that it's an hour, again, but you said it doesn't feel like an hour. It's, it's, it seems far shorter because it goes so quickly, and it... Um, it has depth, despite the fact that it's so short, um, and that's that's just really wonderful. Right, right. That's that's what I wanted. I wanted something real, raw, uh, to the point and fast. It doesn't it doesn't sort of go around things. It, it gets to the point directly, and it gives you a real, very uh, raw and real portrayal of, of of those two characters. And I think uh, you definitely get a sense of what they're feeling and 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 feel for them. And um, Daniela, how did you grow as an actor from this film? I think I grow with every film that I do. Uh, it just, because every film that I do, obviously, you know, it's, it's a different character and it forces you in a good way to really understand and empathize what others go through. So what your character is going through. Um, and just like Fernando, I'm Mexican American as well. I, I also grew up in a border town in Texas, McAllen, and I also saw a lot of these terrible situations, these hardships that these people went through. So playing this character just took that to another level. I just really understood it a little more. Obviously, I'll never fully understand because I've never been in that situation, but it, it really put me in a position to really think about what those people go through. So I think it made me grow more as a person than an actor, if that makes any sense. I love that. Definitely. I think yeah, it, it does a lot to you know, talk more about the issue. And I, I like that, you know, even as an actor, you, you had a chance to, you know, think more about that and, and examine what their lives are like. Yes. Well, thank you both for chatting with me today. It's really been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Fun. you for having us. Por Mi Hija is now available on digital and DVD, so viewers, go check it out. I'm Ishan reporting for Kids First, signing off. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications by hitting the bell so you don't miss my next interview or those of my amazing Kids First teammates. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye. Adios.